While the county will start issuing marriage licenses for same-sex couples tomorrow, they will not be performing the ceremonies. However, one local reverend will be outside of the county clerk's office. And ABC 23's Aaron Briscoe is live there to introduce us to that reverend. Aaron? Yeah, hi, Emily. Good morning, everyone. You know, I'm outside the county clerk's office right now, and tomorrow is set to be a very big day for many gay and lesbian couples, and that's because the county will be issuing same sex marriage license, but by appointment only. However, they will not be performing any marriage ceremonies. They stopped performing those ceremonies last week. But, you know, for those who pick up their license and want to get married right here on the spot, there will be other options to them. And let me introduce you right now. I have Reverend Bird Tetzloff from Unitarian Church, and she'll be out here all day tomorrow. Hello, Reverend. Hello, how are you? Good. So tell me what you're going to be doing out here tomorrow. Well, there will be a number of uh, people here who are enabled, um, who are licensed to perform marriages. I'm one of them. And uh, we will be doing weddings for anyone who has a marriage license. Okay. And what kind of response have you had? Do you have a lot of appointments? I have a number of appointments. Um, I don't know whether or not the other clergy do or not. Um, but we're also taking people without appointments. Uh, just show up with your license, and we'll be, we will be glad to marry you with a simple ceremony. Okay. And what kind of response have you gotten? Oh, very positive. Very positive. We're getting letters of support, emails, phone calls from all over the state, all over the country even. And I understand there's even been some foreign interest in this. Okay. Okay, great. Well, thank you for joining us. Sure. Okay. So, again, tomorrow the county will be issuing same-sex marriage license. They will not be performing ceremonies, but as the Reverend just said, there will be other options. She will be out here along with other people to perform the ceremonies. Reporting live from downtown, Aaron Briscoe, ABC 23. All right. A story we will be watching closely. Thank you so much, Aaron. But first tonight here, we're talking about gay marriage because in just a few minutes from now, actually right here in California, we're going to become the second state in the nation to allow same-sex marriages. This evening is the first opportunity for same-sex couples to exchange vows right here in California as the Supreme Court's ruling takes effect right at 5.01, so just seconds from now. 17's Alex Valle joins us in the newsroom tonight with more on this story. Alex? Kiyoshi, some county clerks in California are staying open late tonight to begin officiating weddings for gay couples. But Kern County Clerk Ann Barnett's office is closed tonight. And gay couples who want to get married will have to say I do outside the county building tomorrow morning. It's the right thing to do. You know, folks have waited a long, long time um, for this opportunity. In some counties across the Golden State, the first gay couples will rush down the aisle tonight. Thousands of same-sex marriages are expected to take place over the next few months, but some county clerks are allowing ceremonies to begin immediately when the state Supreme Court's ruling made same-sex unions legal in California. The court said the decision becomes effective at 5.01, and I thought, gee, you know, we work late all the time. But in Kern County, gay weddings won't take place until tomorrow morning. After same-sex unions became legal in California, Kern County Clerk Ann Barnett announced no weddings would take place at the county building. Now, someone in Kern County wants Barnett fired. Obviously, he didn't agree with her recent decisions. County Elections Chief Sandy Brockman says someone came into her office to pick up a recall packet. Brockman says she can't remember the man's name, but she did say more than 38,000 registered voters would have to sign a petition to get a recall for Barnett on the ballot. Although Barnett is Brockman's boss, the elections chief says she would handle this recall like any other initiative on the ballot. We're very open to the public, so um, I've never had a problem with Ann interfering before when her name's been on the ballot. I don't. I don't think she would this time. The county clerk's office did tell me they have 35 appointments scheduled for tomorrow. Gay couples are expected to begin getting married outside the building at around 9 a.m.
Thousands of same-sex couples are expected to marry in California tomorrow. Tomorrow is the day that the California Supreme Court decision legalizing same-sex marriage goes into effect. And ABC 23's Mark Christian caught up with one couple who plans to tie the knot. Mark? Jackie, this has been a hot topic issue here at home. And Bakersfield has broke national headlines because of County Clerk Ann Barnett's decision to halt marriages performed by the county. I'm actually proud of our county for being on the on the national radar for this issue. Thank God some county, some group of people will stick up for righteousness somewhere, and I'm not embarrassed that the liberals in San Francisco don't like it. While the county will start issuing marriage licenses for same-sex couples tomorrow, they will not be performing the ceremonies. Now some licensed ministers will offer their services to perform the marriages in front of the county building. I think it's a wonderful opportunity in our, our history of the state to say, we want to be able to do this. We want to, um, in my lifetime, be able to honor people who want to make this commitment. Tracy Waddell and Sylvia Sims will make that commitment legal tomorrow. They've spent the last 26 years together. It hasn't always been easy defining their relationship to the community, but now... When you have a piece of paper that is sanctioned by your state and hopefully one day by our country, uh, it brings a whole new level of acceptance and of joy, and people then know what your relationship is about. After the Supreme Court's decision to allow same-sex marriages, the chief of California's Office of Vital Records issued new gender-free marriage forms that include lines for Party A and Party B instead of bride and groom. Conservative groups are calling for voters to overturn the Supreme Court's decision come November. It is they redefined marriage. They said no. Marriage isn't between a man and a woman, which our California statutes say it is. Even those prior to Prop 22 say it is. Um, and they came in and said, no, it's between two committed, loving humans. You would think that, that everybody would understand that, you know, if you don't, if you're not for gay marriage, then you shouldn't have one. But should we really be in the business of telling other people they can't have one? And at least five county clerk offices here in California will stay open after hours today to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples who've been waiting to exchange their vows. In the newsroom, Mark Christian, ABC 23. And for complete ongoing coverage of this story and my new blog on the issue of same-sex marriage in the media, go to our website, turn to 23.com, and click on From the Heart. We reported last week that Kern High School District Trustee Ken Mettler sent out an email asking opponents of same-sex marriage to show up at last week's Board of Supervisors meeting to ask their supervisor to give marriage licenses only to heterosexual couples. Well, we talked to him today about what his plans are for tomorrow, and he says he'll be laying low and focusing on November's ballot initiative to overturn, or rather to amend the state constitution to make marriage legal only between a man and a woman. He says the Supreme Court has overreached its boundaries. And what happened here was they overreached and they created a legal mess in California. Uh, at this time, the California Family Code has not been changed by the legislature. It still states that marriage is between a man and a woman and that it is a bride and a groom. So until the legislature acts, cleans up some of this mess created by the decision of these uh, uh, educated fools on the Supreme Court, we, we have ambiguity in this state. And it's time for the people in November to set it right. Meantime, Kern County Elections Chief Sandy Brockman tells ABC 23 that an unidentified person has picked up papers to begin a recall effort for Kern County Clerk Ann Barnett. That follows Barnett's decision to no longer perform any civil ceremonies at the clerk's office, a decision she announced following the Supreme Court's ruling. Brockman tells us the person picked up the papers Friday afternoon. Officials say there must be 20 signatures in order to serve the papers and then another 38,000 signatures to get the recall on the ballot.